Okay, we start out with uh, me put it, epoxying the uh, camera mount to the rocket. Um, this is on Thursday, and we launched on Saturday, so this is only two days before launch. Okay, so next up we have launch day festivities. Um, so we got there at about 9.15ish, and um, we had to run simulations for uh, the deployment charges, and so that's what we're going to start out with uh, launch day. <laughs> So after we finished doing simulations, and for what seemed only like a couple minutes, but was probably um, like an hour, we uh, watched a couple of rocket launches, um, and then we were able to do motor integration into the rocket, and uh, then we flew the two of the four rockets we were able to fly today. Um, due to high winds, we were only be able to fly two rockets. Uh, west. <laughs> okay, very good. And this is a heads up flight, so we want to keep an eye on it. It's guesstimated to go 2,500 feet. And uh, he hasn't slept all night because he's a little nervous about this. Okay, going in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. 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 Oh, there he is. There we go. All right. Keep your eye on that one, Mr. West. about here so that the igniter goes all the way to the top mm -hmm. so you're going to want to have a bend it right here and then you're going to want to when you stick it in mm -hmm. then you're going to you need it to go to the end so that looks like it's about good so it doesn't put a, put a bend in where you think it's going to be it doesn't seem like it wants to go further okay is that okay yep, yeah that's good Okay. Right, so we take it back out. Yep. You can't put it in there before you go on the pad. Does it come with a stopper? Well, it's kind of still loose, isn't it? You might want to stick put it. some on the end. Yeah. Is there a stopper? Igniter stays in there. Oh, probably just use tape to be honest. Oh, yes, that's true. Hmm? 
close to it. It's harder now. It's before. Right, because it folded over itself, because the tape will fold over as you stick it in. You want me to film the buffer? Watch. Because the battery, I'm not, I don't know how long the battery lasts. You can, and you can do what I did and make sure it, and like use the. A little bit of tape. Kind of a like I had to do another coat yesterday because of uh, a bit of a problem with that. Remember Josh? My mask, mask part of it, then I paper got stuck in the paint. Because if we lose this one, well, we might at least be we got a photo. At least we got a photo of it, yeah. Actually, someone should take a photo of us out here. Yeah. Someone has a camera. I think I, you I, have I, that, Doug. Yeah, I think we all do. There's going to be a lot more cameras on soon. Be careful, you're walking towards the wire there. Yeah. You want to pull it out of the control station. I'm going to just grab the pole and bring it down. further if you want. Because otherwise we'll do it go like this. Yeah, we don't want to do that. No. Be, but I think that's a good angle. That's as far as I'm going to let you take it. Yeah, 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 yeah you know? I agree. Okay, then what it's I'm going to do is you get a corn stuff. Your corn cob even better. Space it off? Or what? Yeah, we're going to get off of there a little bit. Where's your igniter? Hello, camera. Probably. How are you? Come on. 
Do not fall off, you are expensive. An Apogee Zephyr on an H100. Loud and loud. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Yay! Woo! Woo! Okay. I still have lock on it, so I'm just going to watch it come down. Oh, it's going to come down before the corn. No. That was actually like a perfect angle. Yeah. I think I was pointed a little bit more south. 
Yeah. That is awesome. Good job, Samuel. If you made it to the end of this extremely long 18 minute video, um, thank you. Uh, please consider subscribing. Um, it would help out a lot. Um, thank you.